Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dreary, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, House of Godwin. Uh, unfortunately, my game crashed while I was recording, and now you see us nearly bankrupt, fighting, and just barely winning a rebellion, and getting our ass kicked by raiders about which we can do nothing. Uh, we are on the verge of absolute defeat, and we have just barely been able to gain a meager victory due to our allies landing here. It is taking forever to re-siege territory that I lost. Uh, and long story short, the kingdom is going to be in incredibly bad shape uh, by the time this war is over. I did not want to lower crown authority, uh, so I went to war. He's just going to be offering us like a white piece. I don't want that. I probably going to go into bankruptcy before this war is done that's almost certain in fact and the norse are going to raid the shit out of our holdings there i'm assuming those guys are norse uh yep so we've been looted for a massive amount of money but i don't care i probably should care but i don't uh we are now out of money we are going to go into bankruptcy we are going to have negative funds i blame this uh bullshit revolt for everything uh, fuck these disloyal vassals. Motherfuckers. Is all I gotta say. All I gotta say. I was nice to them. This whole time. I got all my allies fighting wars somewhere else. So I can't do shit. All that fighting and we're only 50% to victory. I'm gonna lose all my money. I've got way too... I'm very far into debt. Now the revolts are... The, now members of the army are revolting against us. Fuck them. All you're doing is giving us a... More war score, you fuckers. But now we don't have the men to fight these guys that I was attacking. And that sucks. And now we've got everything going wrong. If, uh, if I can't... It, like, obviously if I can't win this war, we're kind of fucked uh, in general. I've basically killed our kingdom at this point. Uh, yep. God, there's... This is a mess. I'm not very good at this game. Uh, oh my god, we can't even... Fuck. Fucking assholes. Fuck you. Look at this motherfucker! These guys are fucking assholes! Oh my god, okay, we're very far in the red. But these guys are assholes! Like, what the fuck's with, uh, with that? As soon as the war ends, suddenly he's got a completely positive opinion of us. Motherfucker. I haven't played this game enough for some... I guess I haven't played this game enough to grasp the system here. But it just makes no fucking sense that someone who, like, revolted against us is supposedly, is like, such a huge fan of us in actuality. Like, what the fuck? And the French are losing that revolt. I don't have the money to help them. And now people are planning to kill me. It's like, this is this is some pr really bad bullshit. Um, but anyways, our kingdom still survives. I'm surprised we aren't dead yet. Bitch! Motherfucker! Now that just really pisses me off. Look at this motherfucker. Princess Gunhild of England, you... <sighs> and I can't even kill her! She's plotting to kill me! Fuck that, King Harold. If one of your children is plotting to kill you, you can fucking kill them. Oh my god, King Harold. You are so fucked. Look at this. Earl Godwin of the Whisperer. Jesus, at least he's a master schemer, but like, come on, man. Godwinna, you'll be my spy master. Go study technology in France or something. Um, I'm actually going to have Momorkar try to get our troops back. I hope the French aren't completely fucked over. Let's check out our favorite country, Scotland. Under King Mal Malsnecton, who's a complete bastard. Uh, and I'm glad he's losing those revolts. I'm only saying that because he usurped King Malcolm, and I like King Malcolm. What a douchebag. So yes, people are still planning to kill me. I don't know what I can do about that. Uh, at least the plots are pretty weak. 
Morkar wants to kill Prince Godwinna. I don't understand you, Morkar. I don't understand you. King Earl II of England has accepted a call to arms from King Sancho II of Castile against Emir Yaha the Old. What is Yaya the Old? What a stupid name. I know that's prop. I know that's racist, but come on, Yaya. That's a dumb name. Freaking stupid shit I have to deal with. Finally, we're back in black with our money. But that's just because we're the Kingdom of England, so we make tons of it. We're not making that much in terms of income, I bet, because we're getting freaking raided all the time by thieves. Because no one respects my reign anymore. No one respects King Harold. Look at this. Look at the amount of troops we have. That's respectable, goddammit. I demand respect. No one on the Isles of Britain stands a chance against us if we decide to fight them. It's these goddamn revolts that are pissing me off. Now we've got a claim on Poes. We might want to send our Chancellor elsewhere. Um, we could send him to the continent to improve diplomatic relations, but I think we're just going to try to steal land from someone. Hmm. What would be a good place to steal land in? I think we'll try to take more of Wales. Uh, I do want to have that dual kingdom going on. I want to claim Wales soon. We already have England, so that's good enough. Uh, but... Generally speaking, I'm rather expansionist. I've all, I always try to be expansionist in my games, but I'm not really good at winning expansion anywhere, anyway, but through brute force. <clears throat> your daily routine involves repeatedly swinging your blade at a training dummy, or you can only learn so much from fighting an inanimate enemy, and the practice gets dreadfully dull after a while. Could you summon to train with King Harold and Arncatel? Hey, he's not as good as me, so I can probably kick his ass. He's a hedonist. Uh, I love the hedonist trait. Um, oh yeah, so we can start declaring war on this little bitch. King of Wales. I bet that title's an oxymoron. Oh, he's stressed out too. Good, attack him while he is weak. Surprisingly large amount of troops he can call upon, considering his uh, martial skill. Well, let's go in for the kill. We could claim Poes for this guy, but he's obviously not related to us. So we should just uh, make a claim for it ourselves. And go, 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 go. Go, Team England. Now we'll meet up in uh, Worcester. Yeah, that should be good. Just amass the English army. Nothing can defeat us. Nothing can defeat us. We're so giant. And we've got good commanders, I'm not going to lie. Um, especially since Geirth is apparently... Yeah, is... Yep, Duke Geirth is pretty badass. Um, though I almost feel uh, bad about having him involved in this. Because, you know, he is a brother. He is he's kinsman. Also, he's from East Anglia. You revolting little bastard. I, I actually want him dead. I really do. But I suppose it would be more advantageous to keep him alive. Even with our disadvantage in land, obviously our numbers and our commanders being so superior, we easily come out on top. That battle was worth a whole 46 war score. That's pretty awesome. Mm, I'm going to raise my vassal levies and piss off my vassals for a little while. Uh, and this war should be won relatively quickly. I can't really think much in terms of economic expansion right now, though I probably should. Before I wage any more wars, I should think about uh, trying to get... Uh, more infrastructure built, at least so that we don't constantly keep losing money through these wars that we're waging. As it stands, I'll take this territory and it'll take a bit longer after that to actually win the war. Kidnappers overpowered me, made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag in my mouth. Luckily, they did not get far away with me. Duke Morcar and the guards managed to free me and capture them. Thanks, Duke Morcar. Much more useful than you were historically, you backstabbing piece of shit. Harold Godwinson comes and saves your ass in York, and then what do you do? You withhold your troops to fight against the Normans, and then you try to get yourself crowned king, you fucking idiot. And then you betray William the Conqueror once you've sweared loyalty to him. Absolutely. Frickin' pathetic. Morcar, everyone. Jeez, this guy, am I right? Frickin' Morcar. We're actually gaining money from these uh, this sieging 
stuff, but I don't want the Welsh to capture even a single holding, so I'm going to kick their ass right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is pretty interesting. I find very few battles where the outcomes are such lo so lopsided. Uh, we only lost 50 men. Yet somehow that was enough to lose a commander in combat again, I believe. Ah, uh, we're gonna run out of good commanders. Well, we kind of already have. Aidwin's only got a 12. That's not actually all that good. Um, okay. Oh, wait, we've already won the war. Okay. Enforce our demands. And my demands is actually... It fits perfectly in my demesna size now. Good, good. So we don't even have to uh, give up any land. All right. That was actually pr a profitable war. We came out with more money than when we started. Uh, maybe I should get rid of those raiders. Just an idea. And eh, it's a bit too troublesome now. Uh, so this is uh, fun. But playing as England is kind of the situation where now there's no one in Britain that can oppose you. The main problem is just going to be rebels and maybe some continental interference. But even that's unlikely. It looks like the French are definitely going to lose their revolt. This is the thing with revolts. They, they're, they're surprisingly hard to put down the larger and more powerful you are, uh, I tend to find. There's Ghana over there. Never really understood why Ghana is in this game, but uh, it, it's a welcome inclusion. Alright, that's going to do it for this uh, video. Uh, see you in the next one.